Hey friends, thanks so much for tuning back in to another great Commission Alliance Media Channel Bible Bite. We are living in some really tumultuous times. Everything around us seems chaotic, but in Christ we are unshakable. If you need an encouragement, this is the message for you. Stay tuned. I'm going to be sharing some things from Psalm 62 with you in just a minute. You don't want to miss it. All right, thanks so much for staying tuned. Let's jump into Psalm 62, verse 6. Truly, he is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will not be shaken. We are unshakable in Christ. That's what the passage tells us. Let me tell you three things that I see in this passage. The first is that God is our foundation. It says here that he is our rock. He is the foundation that we build our lives on as believers. Jesus Christ and his word are the only foundation worth building our lives on in this world. And you know, when we build our lives on the foundation of Jesus and his word, we will not be shaken. That's a promise of scripture. You ever hear of the Millennium Tower in San Francisco? An expensive new building recently completed, the tallest residential building in the city. People paid millions of dollars to buy these very high-priced condos in the Millennium Tower. But basically, within a month or two of moving in, they found out the whole tower was beginning to lean over. It was not unshakable. It was a very expensive tower to build, but this is crazy. The fix is going to be even more expensive than the building itself. You know, we need to be grounded on a solid foundation so that we won't be shaken. And Jesus and his word are the only foundation worth grounding our lives on. You know, this passage also says that God is our salvation. Not only is our foundation on him, but he is also our salvation. Jesus Christ alone conquered death. You know, lots of people have promised eternal life, and they're all dead. Only one promised eternal life and then backed it up with his own resurrection, and that's Jesus. So whoever else you've ever hoped in, they weren't worth hoping in. Only Jesus conquered death, and only Jesus can give you eternal life. Only Jesus can save you from your sins. I remember when I was young, I was full of fear and sadness and doubt. Even though I was living in a very good Christian family that was going to a good Christian church, I didn't quite get what it was all about. I remember the day at that church where it finally clicked. I realized that God loved me even though I was a sinner and that Jesus died on the cross for my sins so that through faith in him I could be forgiven and could look forward to an eternal life in heaven. That day when I realized what Jesus had done for me, I put my faith and trust in him as Savior and Lord and he changed me. He took my fear and he turned it into courage, my sadness into joy and my doubt into confidence. If it had never been for Jesus, my life would be very empty. But because of him, it is very full. Jesus is my salvation, and he wants to be your salvation too. I'll tell you more about that in just a minute. Not only is he our foundation and our salvation, it says here he is also our fortification. He is the refuge that we run to. He is the fortress in which we find safety. No matter what the world throws at us, we have a fortress. And in that fortress, we can stand unshakable. That's the promise of scripture. We have a fortress to run to. He is our fortification. And nothing can shake us when we stand in him. You know, these are some incredible promises. And we need these in times like the one we are going through today. If you don't feel like you know Jesus yet as your foundation, your salvation, and your fortification, you need him today. Why wait another day? You might not have another day. Please, I beg you, put your faith and trust in Jesus as Savior and Lord today. If you realize you're a sinner and that you need Jesus Christ as your Savior, you can tell him that right now in prayer. You can say, Jesus, I believe that you are who you say you are, that you died on the cross for my sins and rose again to give me eternal life. Today I ask you to be my Savior and my Lord. The Bible says that if you've Put your faith and trust in him alone as Savior and Lord. You will be saved. 
And as a new believer, you can plug into a Bible-believing and Bible-teaching church and grow in that faith. Even though a lot of churches are meeting virtually right now, this would still be a great time to plug into a local church. You know, if you are a Christian and you do have that unshakable hope that I talked about today, there are a lot of people around you that don't have that unshakable hope, and they need it. So now more than ever, we need to be extending the hope of Christ to those around us. Listen, people are getting so distracted right now. People are getting distracted about what ifs and where the virus came and whether the numbers are accurate. We see a divide between politicians on all the sides and people running and flocking to the different sides of the spectrum. We see conspiracies out there all over the place. Confusion, chaos. We even see otherwise friendly people at each other's throats over their different perspectives on what's going on in our world today. It's crazy. Christian, I beg you, share hope in this context. Don't get drugged down into all that miry junk. Share the hope of Jesus with those that desperately need it. We are unshakable in him and they need to know that. Share the hope of Jesus with them. Hey, thanks so much for tuning in. If you haven't yet subscribed to the Great Commission Alliance media channel here on YouTube, please do that today. You're going to get encouragements like this every single day. You're going to get trainings and so much more. So definitely subscribe to the Great Commission Alliance media channel here on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching. We'll talk to you again next time.